Hi, this is Joe McNally for Adorama TV, and in this segment, I'm going to talk to you about moving your lens during the exposure. Adorama TV presents Photo on the Go with Joe McNally, where you'll go behind the scenes to see how great photos are made. So in this relatively simple picture, I moved my lens. Now that may seem like a dangerous thing to do, and it can be, okay, in terms of its relationship to the sharpness of the photograph and all of that. It's kind of a no-no, right? You're not supposed to move the camera or move the lens while you're actually making the picture. But for a particular type of effect, occasionally it can be kind of a fun thing to do. This, again, very simple approach. It's a nondescript room. In the background there, it's a Venetian blind. I mean, nothing special, you know, in terms of environment. Uh, have a wonderful model, Ang Tao, in the front of my camera, okay? I'm using a 2470 millimeter zoom lens. You know, you need a zoom to make this happen, obviously. And the light is very hard, very simple. It's just a gridded light that's overhead. You can tell from the shadows on his face falling down this way. It's pretty centrally located. It's, it falls on him and virtually no place else. So the light's very, very controlled. But what I did here to blend in a little ambient exposure in the room was I lengthened out my shutter speed, okay? I shot at a big f-stop, okay? It was, I believe, f13, and the shutter speed is one-sixth of a second. And so during this exposure, as I click that shutter and it opens, what I'm doing is I'm physically moving the lens. And that accounts for the little bit of vertigo or kind of the vortex feel of it. It also encounter, you know, kind of emphasizes his hair like being up in the air and kind of wild looking because the, the physical elements of the lens are actually moving while you're making the exposure. So to do this, again, pretty simple, one light picture. I've got my background here, which are, is all the, the blinds back in here. My subject is only a few feet from the background. Camera's right here, okay? And what happens is I take a, a light, a little speed light, and I boom it up and over, and it's gridded very tight, and it falls on him and him alone. That's basically it. I'm introducing a little bit of ambient light in the room. There's a little bit of glow coming through the Venetian blinds, hence my slow shutter speed which is also crucial. You need that if you're gonna have the time to physically zoom the lens. So here's the thing, my timing of my flash is set to rear curtain, which means that the flash will go off at the end of the exposure, not the beginning of the exposure. That way I kind of know when I have that, I have that timing down, when I zoom at, you know, kind of at the end of my move, I know that's when the flash is gonna go off. I also begin the zoom actually before I trigger the shutter. I kind of roll my finger over the shutter as the lens is starting to move. A sixth of a second, you can't hit the shutter and then start to zoom the lens because a sixth of a second happens pretty quickly. So the motion would be squeeze the shutter as you're starting to make the move and you get a little bit of induced or perceived motion around your subject. Boom, right into the middle, that's the zoom. The other thing I've always observed when I do this and some folks will differ about this, but I tend to zoom, okay, from telephoto to wide. Reason being, in my head anyway, and I've heard this, it was handed down to me, so I'm passing it on to you, your depth of field increases as you zoom to a wider sort of lens throw. So you go from telephoto to wide, you naturally pick up a little depth of field. Other folks will do this differently, and it will produce a different zoom effect, but this is kind of the way I go about it little hard, tiny light on my subject, squeeze the shutter as I'm zooming the lens, and you get this kind of rush, if you will, in the middle of the frame, right towards your bullseye subject. So obviously, we're going against a certain rule here, which, you know, rule of thirds, we've talked about that in other segments, compositional kinds of things that you often observe, okay, bullseye is oftentimes put up as a red flag. Oh, don't put your subject in the middle of the frame. In this instance, it works because the zoom is kind of center-weighted, if you will, and the effect will be created in the middle of the photograph. Hi, Joe McNally here for Adorama. Be sure to check out Adorama's latest contest to win prizes. The specific piece of equipment that was crucial to making this work was zoom lens like this one a lot. It's a 24 to 70. It's a real workhorse lens for me, f2.8. It's a constant aperture lens. 
So that's about it. Pretty simply done. Zoom during your exposure. This is Joe McNally for Adorama TV. Do you want great looking prints at low cost? Be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.